Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. As I come today, the admonition which I was fearful I will do so still in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Thank God for for me for me being here today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have given the opportunity to be here today, but I still thank God for the being this house of God today. Praise the Lord. Praise his name. Praise the Lord.
that is all we have for our exaltation. So at this time, we'll go straight into our rendition and we'll have one from our evangelist, our dear evangelist, Evangelist Merlin, in Jesus' name. Praise his name. Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord.
Christ I'm here, I'm called, I'm a Christ, I'm receiving that God. Okay, you should have it. And I noticed that it consistently continued that way. And I said to myself, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna break this car and look at the script. Look what it is saying. And when I look at it, it is coming from Luke 10 verse 40. And uh, I read it. Did you know what I said? No. Alright. Because when I read it, it is speaking to me. And I'm saying to myself, nothing more than God wanted me to share this scripture for my exaltation. So first of all, the one that I had before. No. This morning, when I look at my phone, the first thing that came up is that scripture. Again, when I look at it, it is Luke 10, verse 41. Now remember to the one that I'm speaking about is Luke 10, verse 40. And when I look at the phone this morning, the next time I saw it came up now is Luke 10, verse 41. So, I said to myself, when I read it, I said, oh, definitely, I wanted me to share the scripture to read the scripture. Yeah. Now, exaltation said in the book And I'm sitting here, I'm very excited to do it. Read the scripture and when I look at what the 
8 in the daily wedding that I was looking at. He said, work became, work became an empty burden when we feel we are the only one getting anything done. Mary feels so overwhelmed with the workload. She overlooked Jesus. He was sitting right there in her home. We like to think we would immediately sit with the Lord. When it is possible, we will have more concern about servicing our servant team. Even today, we are more focused on our work, our job, our daily activity, rather than to participate in things that has to do with God. So you find that we become so busy and so preoccupied with what we have to do, our chores that we have to do at home, our work that we have to do at our workplace, that we don't find, we don't make a sacrifice and a that, that concerted effort to do the things that we want us to do. So you find that we are reluctant to come to church. We find excuse to come to Sunday service, Friday service, Bible study. And even when we are in church, as we would have noted today, as Pastor continuously spoke up, that when it comes down to lesson study, nobody wanted to stay. Necessary. We find other things to do. And God only serve it. So when I read what the compiler was saying, I was saying to myself, this, 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 this is speaking to me. And I'm quite sure that it is also speaking to many of us who don't make that effort to participate into what God wants us to participate in. And if you would realize that about it, it's a wonderful lesson study where it speaks of the salt, we mean the salt of the word. We mean the light of the word. And if we have the salt and if we have the light, we are to make one light shine and we also have to make one favor we see as the scripture said taste that seems like a lot so if we as Christian are followers of Christ last our favor as being sought. Last of purpose as a Christian, what we believe and what we stand for. Then it doesn't make any sense.
start also allows you to do it. First, they must continuously be searched and see if after righteousness. Verse 41 goes on to say, So are careful and children about many things. And that's what I saw this morning. So that I also hear it. Jesus answered and said, I'm a mighty man, so I care for the children of many things. We became distracted in our walk with the Lord. Our business schedule prevent us from attending church as stupid ministry projects while we also made it challenging to work in time for Bible study. Just as Jesus will redirect Mary, he also was careful to back the right course. We must slow down. We must slow down, stop being anxious about life. Even so, we may spend more time in service to the Lord. So here we see here, Martha was preoccupied, more concerned about servicing and serving a meeting. And God is saying to us, and Jesus is saying to us, the scripture is saying to us, that we should not be so preoccupied are so concerned about worldly things, which really doesn't benefit the soul. But we should more focus on the things that benefit. Not saying that the necessities of this life isn't worthwhile, but as followers of Christ, we are be more concerned about our soul, to feel our soul, to feel and the word of God that will strengthen us and enable us to stand the test of time. So, my encouragement to us, my encouragement to us is that we will find Time, make provision, make sacrifice for God. And what we do that, we surely see to you are. That's what that we do to us is help us to grow and to strengthen us to face the test in this life. As Pastor alluded today, he emphasized on we in the church, we don't know the word. And how can we, as Christians, if we don't know the word, how can we bring forth the word to the word? So first we have to make our life align with the word of God. Study the word, know the word. Because when you know the word, nobody can come tell you anything. Because there are persons out there who, when you listen to them, as non Christian, if you are not careful, if you don't be careful, you gravitate to what they are saying. Because what? You are lucky at the word of God. But when you know the word, you will be able to stand that with you. This is not what my Bible says. This is not what my Bible teaches. So your interpretation of the scripture is wrong. So again, I will just encourage us to know the words, know the word, make sacrifice for God, and He will reward us accordingly. These are just my two words. Thank you very much.
don't see a need for you. The truth won't be revealed unto you. And the word was remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all that word. In the book of Matthew, it tells you that on that day, many will be coming to Jesus and saying, Jesus, we are prophesying in your name. We are healed in your name. We make the sick get better in your name. The blind have received their sight in your name. Because what they don't understand that that name, Jesus, is a powerful name. Anytime you call upon the name of Jesus, you could be the vilest of any sinner. The name of Jesus does miracle. So even if you're keeping the first day of the week holy, when you call upon the name of Jesus, the devil is going to take away himself. But it's to know the truth and to walk accordingly because even the very last book, 22 verse 14 of Revelation tells you that blessed are they that keep his commandments. And even the Bible nowadays, they are changing up the words to catch souls. Because you have other Bible that tell you that happy are they that wash their garments. And I'm telling you about the commandments. It tells you that wash. And there is a changing of the words. They are putting the power. Even yesterday, when I'm at work, I was telling someone that charity does not mean love. The word charity that is written in this does not mean love. So they changed the word L-O-V-E and put in charity. And I'm saying to them that why not say from the book of John, for God so charity in the world, that he charity at his only begotten son. Why not change the words like that also? But they still use the word for God so love the world that he gave his only begotten son. So you have to know the gospel, not a gospel, because a gospel tell you anything. Come as you are. Just say anything you want to. Yes, you can come as you are, but when you know the truth, you're going to see changes. You're going to start to conform. It's not everyone going to keep the Sabbath day. Because my neighbor confessed to me the Sabbath is right, but Sunday is more convenient to him. I say, not going to make it with that. You have to keep the whole commandment of God for you to make it. Praise the Lord. Bless his holy name. For we which live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake. Some of us are going to be killed for this name, Jesus. Pray my strength up in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Oh, 